Hey y'all, it's Tamara Dion and welcome back to my channel. So I know you clicked on this video because you are interested in seeing more about how I got my dream home office furniture. I am so excited to show you exactly what I got as well as give you some tips and advice about finding your own dream home office furniture. So if you're interested in finding out more, keep watching this video. So before we go any further, I first want to show you some of the items I was looking at on various sites when I first started to look for office furniture. I've used sites such as Wayfair and Overstock, but as you can see, the prices on some of these items were outrageous. I could have decided to change the theme for my office, but I was set on having brown and gold office furniture. I truly believe that your home office should be the place you want it to be, especially with a lot of jobs moving to remote for the remainder of the year. After finding out Overstock and Wayfair weren't affordable for what I needed, I quickly set out looking for furniture on more affordable sites. First, I started with Walmart. A tip I suggest is just placing the color of the items you want in the search bar and seeing what you can find. As you can see, I was able to find this nice TV stand. I often like to have YouTube playing in the background while I work, so a TV stand was a must have. I also love that this thing could also double as a storage for me to place my books and other keepsakes. If you are like me then you know you definitely have to scroll through the reviews first to make sure people who have received the items like them. My rule of thumb when shopping online is the item has to have at least 4 stars before I consider it. It looks like quite a few people have enjoyed this shelf so I went ahead and placed it in my cart. Next on Walmart, I was able to find this file cabinet. Currently the price is a little steep, but I only paid $90 for this item during a rollback event. Make sure that you add items that you like to your loves list on the site and frequently check back to see if the item has been discounted. Walmart seems to frequently rotate their prices, so I suggest you at least check back twice a week to see if the price has changed. Another site that is often overlooked is Facebook Marketplace. Marketplace lets you see what real people in your own community are selling. The great thing I love about Marketplace is you can see the seller's public Facebook profile, mutual friends, and ratings so you can feel confident in your purchase. I was able to find this amazing desk and bookshelf from a seller in my neighborhood. The items were listed for $250 but after a little bargaining, the seller and I was able to negotiate on the sale for $150. So now I'm set. I have a foul cabinet, a TV stand, a desk, and a bookcase. Three days later. Now that I have all the items in my house, it's time to start assembling. I don't have a video of me assembling the file cabinet, but I will let you know that it comes in a box already assembled. I suggest you have at least another person help you carry the items to the location you want, as the boxes are very heavy. The instructions suggest only a hammer and screwdriver for the assembly, but if you have an electric drill, I suggest using that to make the time go by pretty fast. In total, assembly of the TV stand took about one and a half hours. where I got this tool set from, check out the description box for the details. This thing has really come in handy since I moved to my new place. And there you have it, the final product. I 
also love this file cabinet. As you can see, not only is there storage at the top of it, but the drawers are also deep enough to hold files that you might collect while working from home. Here I'm just showing you a trash can that I also got from Walmart. I will make sure that I have that linked in the description box as well. Now the bookshelf and desk. I know some people are skeptical of purchasing items secondhand, but I absolutely love it. Purchase items previously loved by their owners is the best way to know that your items will last. The seller did describe the scratch on the back of the bookshelf, but I wasn't too worried with this since I knew I could cover it up with decor. least is the chair. I didn't get the assembly of this item on camera, but I promise it was the easiest assembly I had. I tried to spray paint the base to match the rest of the gold in the office, but as you can see that was a fail. I plan to go over this a little later after I finish decorating. Now I know this part isn't furniture, but I finally got my diplomas framed. That's right, Tamara D, Farm D, PhD. <laughs> And there you have it, my dream home office furniture. On a budget, of course. Thanks for watching and make sure that you are subscribed so you can come back and shop with me as I decorate my office. Bye, y'all.